G'day guys, welcome back into another video on the channel and in today's video I will be going through the trade rumors for 2023. This is part one, probably only do two parts or something like that. Before we get into this video, would appreciate if you did like and subscribe to the channel. We just hit 1k, absolutely huge. Um, but we're going to go on the road to 2k just about right now. We want to hit 2k as fast as possible, we're absolutely amazing. Let's get straight into the video. First player we have is Bailey Smith, who wanted to either join the Cats or the Hawks. He was more lent to the Cats at the start, now he's more lent to the Hawks. But at this rate, it's looking like he's going to stay at the Dogs for another year and maybe decide next year if he's going to move to Hawthorne or Geelong. Ben McKay is set to either go to the Dons or the Port Adelaide, but he's more set to the Dons this year. Port Adelaide is very unlikely, but it's still likely I have a bit of a chance, but he's most likely will be traded to the Dons this year. Ernie Grunny is set to move to the Swans at the end of this year. Just because he's not getting enough game time, he, he looks to be unused. He does not look like he wants to play for the Melbourne, for Melbourne as well. He's been put in the four line quite a lot. He's playing all right, but he probably deserves to have more game time than what he's been having this year. Off contract Brisbane Lions midfielder Devin Robertson is reportedly preparing to turn his back on rival interests and recommit to the Lions. The 20... The 22-year-old Robinson, the number 22 draft selection in 2019, hails from Western Australia and has been continually linked to the West Coast Eagles. Sydney Swans midfielder Dylan Stevens will explore a trade out of the Swans with North Melbourne favoured to land the number 5th draft pick. Stevens is understood to have informed the Swans on Thursday of his intentions to seek a trade with the Kangaroos, long, long considered his expected landing spot. Stevens had had a contract offer in front of him from Sydney for some time, but the Bruce have been pushing to add their wing and midfield stocks this offseason. Salva Riley Cliff has the biggest decision of his football life, with two clubs circling the offseason contract to long defender. But whether Port Adelaide will be able to compete with Hawthorne, both from a contract and trade offer perspective. Radically is tipped to leave the catch during next month's trade period after holding on resigning with the club that drafted him nearly seven years ago. It comes one year after Port Adelaide made a, a play to lure him out of Geelong while in contract only for the Cats to re retain Radical Ear. While draft suckers represent the typical form of recommits, the Crows are not necessarily hunting picks. Rather, Melbourne utility Harrison Petty is reporting interest to Adelaide. Petty was silent for the remainder of the season by a hor horribly timed foot injury. Obviously, isn't among the Demons finals outfit as Melbourne's forward line struggled mightily against the Magpies during last week's qualifying final, meaning that he is likely to go to the Crows this trade period. Jack Billings' time at the Saints could be coming to an end. The 27-year-old sustained an injury at the, in the offset and suffering a hairline fracture in the right leg. After managing only 8 seeded games in 2022, it seems that the other club may be interested in his services, such as North Melbourne. St Kilda coach Ross Lyons says he had a healthy exit interview with Jade Gresham, but admits he remains another wiser to whether the Saints star will turn his back on free agency. Monday night, Lyons said around 20 players, including Gresham, had exit interviews early in the day, following St Kilda's 24-point elimination final loss to the Giants, with more meetings to come on the Tuesday. Gresham has played all but one of St Kilda's games this season remains unsigned beyond 2023 and has attracted in interest from rival clubs. Essendon was in the hunt to secure Gresham, but Carlton make a big play uh, for him considering his arson price. One of the best performed rucks in the VFL, Sweet, has just played 11 senior games since being drafted in 2018 and didn't even feature in the 2023 season. Um, in July, the suite has attracted interest from rival clubs and the Bulldogs confirmed on Wednesday South Australian has re requested a trade to the power. Fremont can confirm Liam Henry has requested a trade to the upcoming AFL trade period. The 22-year-old 20, is out of contract at the end of the season after playing 43 games through four years. He originally wanted to get a club in Victoria, but couldn't, he had so many options to choose from, but in the end, he chose St Kilda. The winger has played career best football in 2023 after his disposal average increased from 9.3 per game in 2022 to 20.4 disposals per game, which is absolutely ama amazing. Fresh Damon whis um, trade whispers in the past few weeks Premiership West Coast forward Liam Ryan, who reportedly attracted interest from Hawthorne. Ryan, who sidelined for most of the season due to a hamstring injury, signed a 2024 contract extension in April 2021 that ties him to West Coast until the, at least the end of 2024 season. The Hawks are reportedly exploring an option for the 26-year-old as they're keen on bullets during their front half. Although it's understood no club has contracted Ryan's management yet, while there's a sense that the star forward would be better suited to remaining in WA. 
but should Ryan, who's kicked 123 goals in 89 games and was named to the 2020 All-Australian side, express a desire to leave the Eagles? Adelaide and Brisbane are among the clubs circling Marby O'Chol, according to the AFL media, with the Gold Coast uh, forward potentially set to, to be on the move again this trade period. It comes despite Chol's former coach Damien Harwick joining the Sun with uh, multiple reports starting the 26-year-old is available some two years after crossing from Richmond to Gold Coast at the end of the 2021 season. Charles is contracted until 2025, manages eight senior games this season, I mean Ben King's return from injury, despite the last year leading the Suns at Gold Coast. Out of favour and out of contract, Carlton midfielder Paddy Dow is attracting rival interest. The former pick number three famously dubbed Paddy Well and signed to a four-year contract extension before even playing an AFL game has failed to add to 63 AFL games this season despite putting up strong numbers weekly in the VFL. Dow has played 8 VFL games this season and averaged 31.1 disposals with 15.1 dis contested possessions, 7.4 clearances and 4.4 tackles including amassing 41 disposals last week in, in the loss to Williamstown. According to the Herald Sun, it appears like that Paddy Dow will stick a fresh start to a new club next year which is attracting interest from multiple rival suitors, including St Kilda. Dow has only featured four times at the AFL level under Michael Foss' short tenure at Icon Park. The 23-year-old was put up for trade at the end of last season by the Blues despite still playing under contract with no suitors emerging then. Paddy Dow is happy to stay at Icon Park and fight for his spot. Champion data collector analyst Daniel Howe believes that North Melbourne should not trade Tarot Thomas after the an elite final month of the season. Thomas returned from a, a number of field, of field issues in round 12 and so he built an impressive year particularly in the last, last few rounds. He's after the footy he, he was, came up the 6th highest rated player in the competition. North Melbourne veteran Tom Goldson expected to look for a new home in the 2022 trade period. The former All-Australian turns 34 on July 1st has previously rejected moves away from Arden Street who was nearly traded too long in 2019 before the Kangaroos improved their contract offer. Languishing in, in the bottom two and with a so plus to ruck options, the Rouge would surely be willing to trade at Goldstone heading into what would be his 16th AFL season. The report stated Goldstone is almost certain to be looking to move. He is unrestricted free agent and would likely be interested in joining a club in contention. The Cats, the Lions, the Dogs or the Blues would make sense in regard. But obviously he's looking to move to the Dons. Adelaide free agent Tom Doty is weighing up a big offer from Brisbane according to 7 News Melbourne reporter Mitch Cleary. Doty remains onside for next year despite the Crows' campaign ending over a week ago and a Defenders 2023 season cut short by an ACL rupture in round 12. The 26-year-old last month publicly expressed his desire to stay at Adelaide but added the serious knee injury he suffered in June had thrown a spanner in the contractual works and the Adelaide offer in front of him was short and what, what he's after. Doty has been linked to Brisbane according to recent months speaking on Channel 7 Talking Finals program on Tuesday night. Cleary and Doty had recently spoken to the Lions about the possibility of playing for the next for them the next season. Hawthorne's goal kicker Tyler Brockman has chosen West Coast as his preferred new destination. Brockman, who was drafted out of Webley Downs in 2020, is keen to return home to WA for family reasons. The 20-year-old had attracted interest from both Fremantle and West Coast. Uh, Western Australia reported Brockman has chosen the Eagles, with both parties agreeing to a multi year deal. Xavier Dergeva is one name that keep popping up in the trade conversation over the next couple of weeks. The 23 year old is contracted as Port Adelaide to the end of the season and has played 14 AFL games so far in 2023. But as after bursting over the scene in his debut year in 2019, Dergeva hasn't quite kicked on the same level as fellow drafty Zach Butters and Connor Rose. He's looking to join rival club Adelaide. North Newton and Hawthorne are set to among the rival clubs showing some level of interest in contracting Carlton forward Zach Fisher. Fisher's name has emerged among trade murmurs this year, given his limited opportunities at Princess Park this season, with the 25-year-old managing just eight matches on Michael Voss and in ongoing battles with form and injury. Contracted to the end of 2025, Zach Fisher has been floating as a potential target for clubs from Western Australia given his route in WA. However, interest from West Coast is understood to have cooled in recent weeks. Interest in Fisher is now expected to come from Victoria clubs who will circle the midfield forward hybrid as the Blues weigh up the futures of several senior games. Essendon defender Brandon Zerk Thrasher wants to play for Port Adelaide as the pair look to bolster their key defensive stocks in the trade period. Zerk Thrasher is understood to have settled on wanting to trade to power and to have a home to South Australia where he has family pool. The outer contract backman has had three year offer in front of him from the Bombers for some time and has been weighing up the decision on his future. 
However, the 25-year-old will seek a trade a back home and join the power who has also been the nominated preferred new home of Adesaba Radicali. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Trade period video number one of the year. Probably going to do another one potentially in the off-season a few weeks before the trade period does start. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.